Nancy Simmer has done some part of her marriage. The beautiful actress, who has already done her introduction ceremony in Edo State, did not let the world know about her marriage. She is getting married to a billionaire husband who prefers a private life. But we get to know. Yeah, we always get to know because here in Nigeria, no matter how hard you try to hide something about you, either your neighbors or your friends will leak it out in one way or the other. You will tell a friend your top secret not to tell anyone. That your friend will tell another person the secret and tell them not to tell anyone. And the circle continues and before you could know it, your top secret becomes the talk of the town. This is how we get to know about Nancy Simmer's secret wedding. News on the streets or social media, according to blogger Kuti Jules, is that Nancy Simmer is engaged and planning to get married. Actually, Nancy Simmer and her husband have been dating secretly for a few years now. And nobody knows. According to a report, the two were spotted on a vacation to Maldives and were also seen all loved up in a Qatar Airways flight to Doha sometime this year. Oh, have you been wondering why Nancy Simmer suddenly decided to end her show on Hip TV called Trending, a show that has taken seven years of her career? Well, the reason is that her husband doesn't like too much publicity like that, but the guy has good taste too. Nancy Beauty alone can make any man bow. To be honest, Nancy Sime is beautiful. She is even more beautiful in real life than she is in movies and pictures. If you see her skin in real life, it glitters like glass. But upon all her beauty, she still bought Nash John. That's when I knew that no matter what you do, you can never please a woman. A gender that God couldn't even please. He gave them lashes. It wasn't enough. They started fixing lashes. He gave them hair. It wasn't enough. They started wearing bone straight. The one that annoys me a lot is that no matter how tall a woman is, it won't still be enough so they wear high heels. I'm not saying I'm not tall, but how could you be dating someone that you have the same height with and if you people are going out, you will then wear high heel. Vanessa, it will not be well with you. The family of Nancy Simmer's husband-to-be went to Nancy Simmer's family house earlier this year to ask for her hand in marriage. And before we could process it, at the ending of last month, the official introduction ceremony took place at her hometown in Edo State. At the introduction, Nancy Simmer's family did that pretending thing they used to do in every Nigerian wedding introduction by asking her about her response to the marriage proposal. And Nancy accepted to marry the groom. So, her family then accepted the drinks and cola nuts from the guy's family. The funny part is that, even if she said no, they would still eat and drink in that occasion. So, if you are not a billionaire, make sure your babe would say yes during the introduction to avoid wasting money on this hard time. So, after said and done, they presented the Brad Price list to the husband family. Right now, they are making preparation for their main wedding. I feel like some Nollywood actresses Follow that poor girl who married the billionaire script, the art in movies in real life. Regina Downer, Rita Dominic, Dakori Ebusin, Mary Remin Joko. What do they have in common? They are married to billionaires. One thing that is so interesting about Nancy Simmer's husband is that she is about to get married to a well-known Lagos big boy who is a billionaire. This same billionaire is a hot cake in Lagos that almost all the rich Lagos big girls want to be his wife, but it didn't work out for them. Right now, Nancy Simeon won him over. Now your question is, who is this guy that every Lagos big girl is dying for? Well, his name is Sholaye Jeremy, a well-known figure and discreet player in the petroleum industry in the country. Sholaye Jeremy is a popular Lagos billionaire who is from Ishekri in Delta State and sure has that oil money that every girl need and also that oil lubricant that every girl lost for. Baba Handsome Shah, among the rich women Sholaye Jeremy has dated, billionaire blogger Linda Ikeji is the most popular one. Yes, he's that billionaire who is known for dating Linda Ikeji and also the father of Linda Ikeji's only son. After their breakup, Linda Ikeji said Jeremy left a big hole in her heart. No sis, we know where the big hole is. But wait too. The way these celebrities rotate men in that their industry make me wonder if they have a DHC for STDs and STI. 
No wonder HIV is plenty in that Lagos island. Well, because of Jeremy's level in the oil and gas sector, he is affiliated to a lot of political figures in the country. He used to be close associate to the Minister of State for Petroleum, Ibe Kachiku, and has been identified as the man behind oil deals of the minister. Sholaya Jeremy is also a close pal to other billionaires in the country, such as Femi Otodola, Aliko Dangote, and many others. This shows that this guy is connected. Well connected that he doesn't need new pictures on his social media profile to those popular celebrities in the country. Wait a minute. So this Jeremy guy doesn't snap new pictures. Since his entire existence, these have been his only pictures on the internet. Actually, this is a red flag that Nancy Simen needs to take serious. Well, Jeremy is currently 45 years old while Nancy Simen is 31 years old. That means Nancy Simen is 14 years younger than him. Oh, that is some pamper me like a little girl kind of marriage. No doubt, Sholaya Jeremy is a coded businessman. Lagos big boy who doesn't live a public lifestyle. We all can agree that this is the kind of man every Nigerian girl fall for because ladies here claim that they don't like guys who pompously show the world how rich they are. At least this guy right here has taken it to the extreme. So why are you guys scared on behalf of Nancy? However, Nancy's husband-to-be has been romantically linked with so many celebrities as well. Aside from Linda Ikeji's son, he has another son from another woman who is outside the country. Jeremy is also known by the general public as the former fiancé of the billionaire blogger Linda Ikeji. But they had a billionaire breakup. He likes them tall and independent though. Talking about Linda Ikeji and Jeremy's story, the two met at Wheat Baker Restaurant in Ikoyi in December of 2015, shortly after Linda Ikeji moved to her home in Banana Island, Ikoyi. When they met, he claimed at the time that he had never heard of Linda Ikeji before, which was seriously a turn off for her because up until then, she only be meeting men who behaved like fans. So she fell in love with him almost immediately, coupled with the fact that she was 35 years old at the time and single for nearly 4 years. So she was definitely searching for a man and so they became an item. At the time Linda Ikeji met Sholai, he lived in Lake Lagos. So she used to drive to almost two hours in traffic from her house to go see him. Most of the time, she carried her laptop to his house to enable her to work at the same time, spend the whole day with him. A few weeks after they met, it seems they were planning a future together. This man was already calling her Linda Ikeji Jeremy, things that ladies of her age easily fall for because they are their prime. Later. He would tell her what scared him off from her is her public life. He claimed he's a private businessman and they didn't want the attention being with Linda would bring to him. So this led to their first breakup. They got back together in 2016 and also broke up, but we are still in touch. By mid-2017, they started seeing each other again quietly because they both are single at the time. He also raised the alarm of her fame and they separated again. They separated a million times and came back a million and one times. So she was basically going back to her ex because she couldn't find anyone else. Then, before you could know it, she fell pregnant. It wasn't planned. It just happened. Though they talked about having a child together just two months before she fell pregnant. He said something about putting a billionaire baby inside her. And she jokingly told him that she is also a billionaire. So their child was going to be a billionaire on both sides. After she fell pregnant, around when she was 3 months pregnant, Sholai saw her parents and actually became very cool with her dad. He later agreed to a traditional wedding, but later switched and didn't follow through with the traditional wedding arrangement. According to Linda, he suddenly began to treat her with so much hate and aggression that Linda and her family had to cut him off completely. Obviously, Linda did not explain why he suddenly began to treat her with so much hate. But a new report from Jeremy's camp dropped when people were telling Nancy to be careful with him because of how he suddenly left Linda when she was pregnant. According to blogger Kutu Jules, news from Jeremy's camp stated that when Linda informed Jeremy about the pregnancy and then they went to see her dad and for the preparation of the traditional wedding, 
when Jeremy started telling his close friends that he was expecting a child and was planning to get married to the mother of his unborn child, all his circle was happy for him. But when Jeremy told them that the mother of his unborn child is the famous Linda Ikeju, that was when he found out that Linda was dating Donald Duke and Saraki and himself at the same time. He then informed Linda that everything including what him and Linda's parents have discussed should be put on hold until he confirmed the pregnancy was actually his via DNA test. Linda Ikeji got upset and said she felt insulted. There was a heated argument between the two that Jeremy and Linda began to treat each other with so much hate and aggression, with Jeremy insisting that until he is able to confirm the child, Linda was carrying his his via DNA. He is not going to be involved and Linda feeling insulted refused to do the DNA test. Till now, Linda did not agree to Jeremy to have DNA tests to confirm paternity. Jeremy too still adamant that he believed that without DNA, he's not going to get involved. So a year after her son's birth, Linda Ikeji had removed Jeremy from her son's name and replaced it with her son name Ikeji. This left many to believe that Jeremy had no role in the child's life. Jeremy, who seemed unbothered with the name change, has over the years been linked to several female celebrities. Right now, he is said to marry our beloved Nancy Isime, even when she is more of a public figure than Linda Ikeji, who is only known for being behind her blog, Linda Ikeji's blog. Miss Johnson's sister in Ghana just spoke crying on the screen. Click on the video that is popping on the screen now to know what Mercy Johnson's sister in Ghana said about their family. Click on it before this very video ends because if this video ends, it will go away.